I'll chat with you about it right now. <coughs> All right. So um, in question number 35, it says that you have a fire truck okay, with a ladder coming out the back. The ladder is 100 feet long. Right, and its um, base is 10 feet above the ground. So this distance right here is 10 feet. And it says, um, at what angle would it need to be placed to reach up a wall that is um, 90 feet? All right. so if we were to kind of look at this, we'll break this off right here to form our right triangle. Well, if we know that this length was 10 feet, what's left for this piece right here? The whole height was 90, 10 of it is accounted for, so we get 80 feet here. And so the angle that we're looking to solve for is this angle in the right triangle. So if we look at the relationship between the angle and the given pieces, we have an opposite side and a hypotenuse. Which trig ratio relates opposite and hypotenuse? Sine. And so the calculation, the sine of theta is equal to the opposite side 80 over the hypotenuse 100. And therefore, if we know what the ratio is, we can find the angle by taking the inverse sine of that ratio. And calculating that, again, making sure we're in degree mode. We take the inverse sine of 80 divided by 100. Oops, put it in decimal form. And we get approximately 53.13 degrees is our angle measure. All right, for uh, 36, all right, if you have a plane and it's, again, kind of flying on this path horizontal to the ground, and it says that the altitude of this plane is 31,000 feet, and it says that it starts its descent to a landing, to a, a runway that is 104 miles away. Right, and you want to find out what is the angle of descent. Right, so one of the common mistakes is to think that this angle right here is the angle of descent. And right, remember, it's just like the angle of depression. When you're looking at this, if you are flying on this uh, path that's parallel to the ground and you start to turn down, this angle of depression is the angle of descent. And it's also equal to this alternate interior angle, this angle of elevation. So I'm just going to use the angle of elevation here, and that's the measure I'm going to find. Okay, so with respect to this unknown angle, I have the opposite side and the adjacent side. So which trig ratio relates opposite and adjacent? Tangent. So if we take the tan of this angle theta, it's going to equal 31,000 feet over 104 miles. Now. Notice I use the, the units because the units are different, and that's kind of how this problem is tricky. Okay, so this number of miles has to be converted into feet in order to do this calculation. So if you look at miles and you think one mile is equivalent to 5280 feet, so if we, we'd have to multiply this by 5280 in the denominator. So if we were actually uh, doing our calculation for this angle, we can take the inverse trig ratio, the inverse tan of 31,000 over this whole quantity, 104 times 5280. And if we calculate that here, we get 31,000 divided by, and in parentheses I'll put 104 times 5280. Close that whole thing off. I do need it in decimal form, so I'll hit green diamond. And it gives me my angle to be about 3.23. And so that's equivalent to the angle of descent um, on that uh, diagram as well. <coughs>